Hey guys, um, I promised you a video, so I'm gonna make one. Here's the buggy. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm uh, still going through the process of fabricating the body panels. Um, still gotta get the rust off. I already kind of started seeing how tough it's gonna be to get rust off by knocking this down, and it did pretty good. So anyway, um, let's get it started up. And I did, I've never test driven it in this configuration. I took this 40 series torque converter off. This is the 40 series driven unit. This is the 44 Magnum driven uh, driver unit. So this one is definitely a lot smaller than the one I've got on it now, which is a 780 series. And you can see how much closer they are together and that belt is a lot wider than the other belt. So this should give me overdrive. Um, it has a lower initial range and a higher, like an overdrive top end range. So, gonna test the top speed with that. So, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Make sure the fuel's on, put it on choke. been running over a week so it was a little bit of a chore to get it started but let's see okay yeah it should be good now can't wait to get the electric start wired in on this thing
the engine's trying to die. I'm going to try to go for a high speed run. While I'm here at the house, I want to try putting this thing in reverse.
Hmm, interesting. The gearbox wasn't letting me go into reverse, so I'll have to check that out. Well, there it goes. Ah, oh, you know what? I bet the belt is too tight and it's not letting this thing shift into reverse. It's not letting the, the clutch release. Because that belt back there is pretty tight. Let's go check it out. That's the other thing. See this? There's no parking brake on it yet. So, the only way to keep it from rolling around is just rolling away on a hill is just turn your wheels. Let's check it out. So yeah, that belt doesn't seem too worn. Um, I do see some wear marks there. I don't see any rubber burning off on the top of the driven clutch. Let's see. That's nice and hot. <laughs> um, let's see. This is just, this. that's just rubber that's wearing off of the other belts. That was already like that before I ran this one. Um, Okay, cool. I'm curious to know what my top speed was. Um, I was recording it. So, we'll see. Chain tension still seems okay. Very, very good, okay. Let me restart the engine. I think when I'm trying to put it in shift out of drive, that belt's too tight and it's actually choking the engine down. I think I need heavier springs in the driven clutch unit, like stiffer springs to keep it from opening up so quickly. Because I've never test driven this clutch. down and look at that it disengaged the clutch that shows right there my idle is either too high or um, this thing needs stiffer springs in it most likely it needs like either lighter weights in the clutch or it needs stiffer springs let me pop this back on there As, it, as the RPM increases, that moves. It's a CVT transmission. 